Hi everyone, this is Lori from My File Addiction. Today I'm going to show you how to resize your Cricut files now that they are coming in um, super large. Uh, Cricut did an update back in, <clears throat> excuse me, in February and now the files are not coming in at the correct size. So until they um, fix that issue, all files are going to have to be resized now. Um, I supply my customers with a file extension, um, an SVG, that is labeled Cricut Brother. That is the only file that will contain the measurements that you're going to see in the files that I'm going to show you how to resize. If you only see a SVG file that says Cricut, um, that file used to work in your program. It used to come in at the correct size, but it no, it, that one does not contain the measurements inside. So if you have one of those files, um, you will need to um, email me and have me update the file for you. Some of my older versions that I haven't gotten to even update yet will only have one SVG file and that one is not does not either have Cricut or Cricut Bother after the file name and that means that file has not been updated at all so again you will have to email me to get the Cricut Brother file and have me updated on my website. Okay so I'm going to show you how to um, resize these files. I'm having questions over and over um, asked because people are not kind of grasping how they need to be resized and if they're not resized properly the circles for the um, holes that will cut into your template material will be the incorrect size. So I'm going to show you a few different ways here. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do with something very simple here. And we're going to insert this. Okay, so you may have to, um, you can see all the pieces over here, okay, but you may have to zoom out in the bottom left hand corner select the minus button to zoom out to see the measurement that I've placed inside here okay so it's important that you do that before you even ungroup anything because we do not want to shift or change this file in any way um, it's okay if it's grouped but once it's ungrouped if you shift or change anything this can affect the way that you're going to um, resize your file and it might be wrong okay so in this case we are going to ungroup because the file um, note here says each box should measure so this means we are going to have to um, resize both of these pieces okay so in order to do that we have to ungroup the um, design okay so now because this, we have to make sure this box measures the measurements that I have here but you also want to make sure that you that you are selecting the design piece on the inside of the box also because what we're going to do is we're going to reduce both of those pieces at one time so what you're going to do is you're going to do a function called marquee select which means you are going to hold down your right your left click on your mouse and you're going to draw an imaginary box around just those two pieces. And you can verify that you've selected both of those pieces by going over to your right panel here. And you can see both of those pieces are grayed out. So then you're going to go up to your size box here. And as, as long as this lock is closed, you can, only, you can type in one of these measurements. So we're going to select the width and we're going to type in 10.746. We're going to select enter and that reduces the size, both the box and the piece down to 7.713 and that's exactly what we said it should be. So we're going to do the same thing for the sec second piece. You're going to hold down your left click, marquee select both pieces, verify on the right side that you've selected both pieces go up to the box or go up to your sizing measurements the, the um, lock is still locked and we're going to select 
and it's going to resize both pieces. We're going to verify that it's the same measurement. And now you have resized your both your pieces down to exactly the size that they should be to cut the stone size that is on the listing image. This particular design is an all SS10, so all of your circles will be the same exact size. Okay, at this point, you can delete the measurements if you want. You can delete the boxes if you want. You can hide them. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do to send these to your cutter now. Okay, so now we are going to delete this and we're going to upload another file. I'm going to upload the same type of file except for it's going to be worded just a little, little differently. So I'm going to select my view all here and this particular file is an older version and um, I used to label it each template and people were getting a little confused because when they consider it what they thought I meant the template was was the actual design piece on the inside but what I was referring to as the template is the black box so my new files I will say the box my older files I have labeled template okay so again we need to ungroup this file and we need to marquee select and our lock is locked we have both pieces selected over here on the right hand side. We're going to select 9.58 and we're going to reduce it down. It's 7.374. This says 7.373. Do not worry if that last digit is off by one. It's not going to make a huge difference. And I should say the reason I'm having you resize the box is because the design piece on the inside are typically two different sizes, okay? So instead of giving you a whole bunch of different measurements for you to resize each design piece, it was easier for me to, to place a black box around each design piece, and the black box is the same exact size around each design piece. And this particular one it may not look like it um, but in other files where you have smaller pieces you can drastically see that the piece inside the box is is way smaller um, for each piece of the design okay so that's re the, that's the reason I'm having you resize the box with the design piece on the inside because if I select just the design piece for this, you can see that it is, it's way smaller than these measurements, which is this, the measurements of the box, okay? So in this particular one, you know, you're going to do both, and you're going to type in 9.58, and it's going to be 7.374, which match this piece exactly, and so this file is completely resized. Okay, so another case scenario is resizing an alphabet. And with my alphabet, I placed the measurement inside within the file. Okay, so this particular one, because the, the um, <coughs> excuse me, the note is included when we resize the whole file, we're going to leave this grouped because I want you to resize the entire alphabet at one time. So this one we're going to leave grouped. We're going to go up here and we're going to type in 61.614 and it's 16.54 which matches my measurements. So now you can ungroup and now you can start, you know, placing your words together. So this particular one, you would have to um, build your words, and then you're going to cut your word out. And you can either delete your entire alphabet, the rest of your alphabet that you're not going to use, or if you want to go through and hide each letter, you know, that's up to you again. 
but um, this is how you work with um, this type of uh, font. You're going to build your word and then cut it. <coughs> okay, so we're going to delete this. And I'm going to show you a different type of font here. Okay, this one is, um, these, this one has all the black boxes around it. This means you can cut out individual letters um, and you can place them, you can build your uh, word if you want um, on, in, in your design space, your work area, and create templates for each letter and build your word that way if you want, or you can build it within your program too. But, okay, so this one, I'm telling you the entire, to, to resize the entire group of letters, but this uh, note is not within the, the um, design like it was with the script letters I just showed you, okay? This um, note is below the letters, so now it's actually, we do not want to include this note into our measurements, okay, w or when we resize this file. So on this particular one, you have to ungroup it, okay, then you just need to marquee select, hold down your left click, draw an imaginary box around just the font with the black boxes around it, and make sure those are selected. You do not want to include the measurement. So you don't want to accidentally select the measurement as part of what you're selecting up here. Okay? So you can go through and basically all of these are grayed out. And the only thing that is white is the measurement. So that means we have not selected the measurement. So we're going to go up here and we're going to type in 19.605 and it's going to reduce just the font. It's going to make it 12.842 so this matches our note. Now if we actually accidentally selected our note along, say if we accidentally like this and it selected it and you went up and typed in 19.605 and looked at the height, it would be 14.991. This does not match my height. So that means that you're, it's an indication that you have done something wrong, okay? So you can't just manually go up and unlock this and change your measurement because what that's going to do is that's going to compress those um, circles and it's going to make them look oblong, and it's, your circles are not going to cut the correct size, okay? So if, the, if your measurements don't match my note, you need to see if there's something you did wrong. If there's nothing you did wrong, then it's possible that I mistakenly typed the wrong measurement in the um, width or the height, so you need to contact me to verify that and then go from there but do never never force the issue because if you do that you're going to change those circles to the wrong size and they're not going to cut correct okay so we're going to x out of this um and there's just a couple more like this one is kind of the same issue or this is the same way you would resize like the, the script font that i showed you except for you're resizing um, all of these designs at one time. So instead of me giving you measurements for every single design and having you go through that process, I gave you the measurements for the entire group of templates, okay? So because the, the file measurement is contained within all of these um, templates, you can leave this group together and you can uh, go up, make sure your lock is locked. You can type in 21.83, and it reduces it down to 21.821, which is exactly what I said, okay? If this file, or if this note was placed below, 
and it said the entire file, then that means you need to ungroup it and then you would have to select all the design pieces and do like I did for the font that had the black boxes around it. Okay, so it's all about reading what the note um, says. A lot of times, um, on some of them, I may have placed the entire file above should measure. So that means the note is not included when you resize the file. So that means you would ungroup it, select just the pieces without the note, and resize the, um, the file that way. Again, if the, if the measurements do not equal to whatever I have typed in there, that means you've done something wrong, okay? And you just need to back out of it and try to get the files, pieces to, to match my measurements. And if you can't, then you can contact me. One last thing I'm going to show you is... Um, let's see if you um, and it would be okay. Insert image. Okay, this is um, this is the one I was talking about. So entire design above should measure. Okay, so if we look at this, it's 32 inches. I say it's 22. We're going to ungroup. We're going to select just the pieces above. And we're going to make sure our lock is locked. And we're going to type in 22.177. We're going to resize, and it's 12.722. So that means we resize this to the correct size. So I hope uh, this information was helpful. Hopefully Cricut will be um, fixing this issue. I did reach out to them recently. Um, it's now April 9th and they still have not corrected the issue, but they told me that they are aware that the issue is happening and that they are working on it. So hopefully they'll get that corrected for you soon and you won't have to worry about resizing these um, files. They should come into the measurements that I have included, but if not, um, this is how you resize uh, the files. So thanks for watching and have a great day.